Okay, for today's little uh, bench top test, I wanted to test this uh, inexpensive volt ammeter available from China to see just how useful it is for um, perhaps uh, for some lab experiments and so forth for measuring voltage and current. The way I have it hooked up is that the thin red and the thin black wires are going off to a 9 volt battery, so it's powered externally. That's what those thin wires are for. Um, the power supply is connected to this meter by um, the black negative feeds into this thick black wire um, and then the positive from the power supply is going off to this electronic load to the positive input of the load and then the return comes back and connects to the thick red wire on this meter so the current flow through the load is also flowing through the meter and that way we can measure the current flow of the load. The remaining wire from this device is this uh, yellow wire. It's basically the sensor, the voltage sensor wire. It connects to the directly to the positive output of the power supply. So the power supply is currently outputting 4.999 volts, basically 5 volts. And we're getting a 5 volt reading on this device. Looks good, right? Um, the voltage accuracy is not actually as good as it seems. Uh, depending on the actual voltage value, you do get some errors. So I'm going to change the output of my power supply to 1 volt. There it's pumping out 1 volt. And um, it reads 1.1, so it's 10% high. Uh, if I go to, say, um, 10 volts, we get 9.8. So it's on the low side two tenths low. If I go to say 15 volts, now I get 14.7. So um, the voltage accuracy is okay, but it's not not stellar. Um, okay, so now let's look at the accuracy of the current readings. Um, the power supply, the second line is going to show the current flow. So we can compare that to what we see on this meter. And I'm just going to ramp up the load by twisting this knob over here. So here we go. Let's see, we're at 20. Let me go back to 10. There's 10. So you can see that at a very low current flow, at 10 milliamps, this inexpensive meter is showing zero. Um, but it gets better. You'll see. So at a very low current flow, it's not the greatest. There's 20 milliamps, and it's showing 0.02. There's no third digit, but from uh, the perspective of what it does show, it's pretty accurate. There's 30 on my power supply. There's 0.03 on the meter. There's 40, 0.04, 50, 0.05. We'll go to 100 milliamps. It continues to do very well. There's 100, it shows 0 0.10, dead on, let's go to 200. There's 200, 0 0.2, let's go to 300. There's 300, 0.3, continuing on up. There's 400, 0.4. Half an amp, 0 0.5, 0 0.50. So let's go to 750 milliamps, three quarters of an amp. There's 750.75, and I'll take it all the way up to, take it all the way up to one amp. There's one, 1. 1.00. So the current readings are outstanding, um, with the exception of the, at the very low end, say uh, below 20 milliamps. Um, yeah, those small errors do show up. Uh, there's one other way to hook up this meter, and that is to connect the, the positive or red lead directly to the power supply that is um, supplying the load. I'm going to connect that up here. It comes up so now you can see we got some more errors so it's uh, power supply is uh, 1.013 amps and it's reading 0.96 
So for maximum accuracy in current flow, it's best to power this thing externally. Otherwise, the probably the draw of this device itself is interfering with the readings on the device. So excellent for current flow readings. Eh, not the greatest for voltage, but not bad considering this device is so inexpensive. All right. Thanks for watching.